Hi friends. Welcome to the YouTube channel DM Info Videos. We are here today with a new interesting video to enlighten the viewers. Continue watching this video till the end so that anybody will come to know about the much unfamiliar valuable information and wait eagerly for episodes to publish regularly. Please like and comment, share, subscribe and tap the bell icon for receiving the notifications on the upcoming videos. Trust that everyone must have watched the previous videos that published. If not, please click the links given below to know them and share. Episode 4 Activities Before Construction In this episode, we will look into the activities before construction information for a new project. It will speak about the feasibility study, site investigation, and design aspects under this topic. Civil engineering itself is a very, very vast subject and not containable in a single video. Plans to elaborate on each branch of civil engineering separately in the upcoming videos for easy understanding. Feasibility study. A feasibility study is an initial process to do while conceiving a project. It is to carry out if a project will be on a large scale or with multiple requirements of the proposal. The purpose of the feasibility study is to identify whether the project is suitable for undertaking or not. The study will be done on the areas is stated below. T. Technical. Is the project technically possible? E. Economical. Can the project be afforded? Will it increase profit? L. Legal. Is the project legal? O. Operational. How will the current operations support the change? S. Scheduling. Can the project be done in time? Real estate and construction companies will do the feasibility study to assess the viability of any residential or commercial project. The study will provide a base to the project and evaluate its strengths, weaknesses, resources, finances, and absolute worthiness. The feasibility study will have the below steps to make a decision, making preliminary analysis, preparing projected income statement, conducting market survey, planning a business organization and operations, creating an opening day balance sheet, reviewing and analyzing all data, taking a yes, no decision. A good feasibility study report should indicate background of the project, a complete description of it, available statement of accounts, brief on operation management, strategies of marketing, commercials details, statutory obligations on legal and government taxes. A simple term can state that the two essential factors judging feasibility are cost required and value to be attained. Site investigation, basic, to know about the suitability of site conditions for a project. To assist in preparing an economical, practical, and safe design. To foresee and avoid the probability of bottlenecks that may come in the way of execution. It may take three to four weeks to complete the site investigation, including lab tests and arranging and operations of drilling crews and excavators. Steps to proceed. Collection of various information and data about the site and surrounding places. Data appraisal. Assessment of hazards in the conditions of the site, surface and subsoil. Soil and rock profile and verify with the parameters of geotechnical and environmental situations. Design. Design is when a project brief has a finished look and instructions prepared for execution. Other compliances match the project budgets and programs, proper communication and coordination, and control. Problems might occur in misinformation, inconsistent documentation, allocation with insufficient resources, inefficient troubleshooting methods. These problems may be more prevalent in the early stages of the design process, considering buildings being more technical nowadays, increasing the range of products and materials to select, stringent standards and regulations for strict compliance. At its most basic level, a design will be in the iterative process. In each iteration, there will be many inputs from the client. At the end of every iteration, the output reviews, and the process started again. The final decision of the satisfied client alone can take the design to the next stage. In the course of a design process, the designer will have to coordinate in the following, information from the project brief and budget, site investigations and surveys, designs and specifications, 
internal and external consultations and design reviews. Seeking approvals from the client's schedules of inspection, tests, mock-ups, and samples. Submissions to planning authorities, other statutory and non-statutory bodies. Preparation of tender documents and review submissions for approval. Quality control systems. Providing production information to contractors and review of designs prepared by contractors. Procedural setting on-site inspections, installations, testing, commissioning, client training, and maintenance. It concludes the topic on activities before construction. It must have enhanced the understanding of civil engineering, placed everyone in a new light of exposure, and inspired us to learn more. Else, online technology helps us repeatedly viewing to get the benefit. In the next video, we will look for the activities during construction, for a construction project in the next topic.